Welcome to Chris Parkin Shooting Sports. As you saw in my little preview first look video I did the other week, um, I've actually specifically got one of the FX T12s. Now, this isn't one of the new guns, this one's been around a few years, but it actually symbolizes one of the sort of early FX rifles, and in the latter days, like now, it sort of goes back to the simplistic, uh, just a simple tool for doing a job. It's not got all the adjustments, it's not got all the sort of fancy trickery and different barrel swaps and this, that's and the others. But what it has got in this particular example is FAC capability, about 24 foot pounds for a great pest control tool. Now this is the synthetic version, it's 929 millimeters long, which is 36.6 inches. It's screw cut at the end so you can add an additional moderator to cut some of the sound out. The actual details of the gun I'll put in the link in the description below. Overall weight is about 2.4 kilos, which is about 5.4 pounds, and it is a light, handy rifle to hunt with. The barrel is 500 millimeters long, which is 19.7 inches, so you do get a good efficient use of the somewhat limited air supply on board. It's a 220 bar fill, and it's only 185 cc's. Now, in fairness, the magazine is a 14 shot in this 2.2 rifle, and I would expect you're going to get about 30 shots from it. Um, I was happy to just shoot two magazines and recharge as necessary because, to be fair, this is, in my opinion, a hunting rifle in FAC format. It is available in 177, 22 and 25. This is the 22 version, and that's my preference really in FAC air rifles, especially at this sort of power level, 24 foot pounds, because I think it gives you the best compromise between simplicity, air usage, and the actual downrange performance you need for pest control. This one's got a single stage trigger. It is adjustable, but it actually weighed 184 grams, which is just six ounces. It's one of the lightest triggers I think I've ever used. But strangely enough, you get great tactile perception on the blade, and as long as you squeeze through that, you don't get any problems with it surprising you. So I was actually a little bit surprised at how well I did get on with such a light trigger. The T12 uses a smooth twist barrel and it loads with a bolt action. So when you put the magazine in, you can bring the bolt back and lock it into the slot there, which means the fill probe isn't going to be in the way when you're actually sliding the magazine through. And then between each shot, push it forward, push it down, and then you're ready to fire. This is a safe dry fire now. And then up, back, forwards, down. Just be a little bit careful, there are springs in here, and just make sure you are positive and control it, because of course, if you're not careful, you can double load a pellet, which it's not gonna damage the gun, but you do need to kind of aim off target, fire it, get rid of those two pellets, and then reload it again, so you've got your aimed precision shot for your next hunting opportunity. This is the synthetic stock. Length of pull is 350 millimeters, which is 13.8 inches. And you can actually, with the screw on the back, release that and move the recoil part to get it as you want it. It's ambidextrous, you can shoot it either left or right handed, and it's got a Monte Carlo cheek piece which lifts up and means you still get good scope eye alignment. Now the magazine system fits in here. So there's the magazine, and of course it does mean that it's underneath where the saddle of the scope is, so you will possibly need artificially high scope mounts for alignment on it to make sure it's clear in the magazine. That's an 11 millimeter rail, it's actually part of the reaction. The magazines take a little bit of getting used to. Basically, you need to flip the cap up, turn it all the way around, turn it over, put the first pellet in skirt first, which locks the spring, and then when you actually go back, you can then just load each, up, each pellet up as you go along. It's actually very reliable in use, and I didn't have any problems with it at all. Um, I actually kind of prefer that to some of the new FX magazines, because of course you can't lose the lid off it, and you can also get spares. So, due to the limited air capacity of the rifle and the fact I didn't want to be going back to the truck and filling up every two minutes, I stuck to just one pellet type. Now, with this being an FAC 2.2, my favorite is the 18.13 JSB Exact Jumbo Heavy Diablos. These things do certainly hit hard. Big, beastly pellets that these are here. So, 
again, hunting rifle. I wasn't going to start messing around too far at long distance because I don't have the tunability and I don't think it's a target tool. So I stuck to what I'm going to use it for or what I would use a rifle like this for, so ratting maybe out to 20, 25 meters. These targets here are at 20 meters and I did also shoot limited distance today because it has been very windy and I wanted to make sure the rifle wasn't being penalized by the wind. So if you look here, we can see those two targets there very, very acceptable. I mean, that's a five and a half millimeter pellet hole, so you can get a scale on that from there as it is. So there we go. Um, this rifle is, it's just a lovely simple example of where FX kind of started out and where they still remain if you want to get one. The stock is quiet, it's got a tactile finish on it and it's warm to the touch. And with it being black, you know, it's quite discreet, quite modest without being too tactical. You've got steel trigger guard on the bottom, plenty of space in there for, for gloved fingers in the winter. And it's very tactile and easy to hold. Now it's got a long slim air reservoir, the fill probe goes in the front here and the fill probe is supplied with the rifle. One downside of the rifle is there isn't actually a pressure gauge on the reservoir, so you do need to learn how many shots you can take through the gun before it starts to diminish on target and you know drop away because the velocity is lowering down. As I say, the FX website says it takes 30 shots, I just call that two magazines of 14 rounds each. And to be quite honest, that's a good night out ratting for me. So. I'd be quite happy to go along with that. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that review. Please like, subscribe, comment, click the notification bell, and go through to the end of the video to click on the links for the show sponsors. Thank you for watching. Bye for now. There's an absolutely enormous moth battering around the lights. I think I might need this bad boy to get in. But let's leave it alone for now. <laughs>